Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cook with me video. Well, this is Monday morning and I'm going to be showing you the video that I did yesterday. Um, it came out pretty good. The end of it gets a little mixed up because everybody arrived and the dogs were running around and the football games are on and it was just a lot of confusion. But anyway, we're a little late today because I had to leave at about 20 after 7 today to get to an 8 p.m. 8 a.m. doctor's appointment, which went fine, I guess, because actually my doctor's appointment's not until tomorrow at 8 a.m. Oh, how to feel stupid in three easy lessons. <laughs> I thought our only old people did that. Oh, well. So anyway, I hope you do enjoy this. I did two different recipes um, both of them came out very good. Everybody liked them. And I will show you what we did. So stay tuned. We'll be in the kitchen making Nutella hand pies and a brioche bread. Back in a minute. Okay, so let's start with the first one. And I'm going to try to do this carefully because I got this a little soft. It's a half a cup of softened butter and that's softened okay let me just move this over it's three large eggs I'm going to do those in just a minute One third of a cup of milk and three tablespoons of water that have been heated to between 70 and 80. And this is uh, 76. So we'll put those in. Now we're going to do the eggs. And what I've done is I had them just a little bit of warm water so they would more or less get to room temperature. Three eggs. Like I said, a brioche bread has lots of butter and lots of eggs. Okay, get rid of this and I get a fork. Lots of eggy goodness. We need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Three cups of bread flour and two tablespoons of sugar. Now, I usually now what did I do? Hold on a second. Oh, I could have sworn I already took a knife out, but we'll take another one out. And of course, as soon as I do, I'll find, oh, I see the first one hiding over here behind the eggs. One. 
too. If you hear noise in the background, the dishwasher is going. Three. Two tablespoons of sugar. One and a two. And the last ingredient is the bread machine yeast. And I want one and a half teaspoons. So what I'm going to do is make a little hole in this flour. Not down to where it's wet. I put the yeast in that little hole. And let me just make sure I've got everything in my pan. Eggs, butter, milk, water, salt, flour, sugar, yeast. Gotcha. Now, let's open up this machine. <clears throat> and I like to take the pan out when I put the ingredients in because at one time I put the ingredients in here without the pan in it. Not in this one, but in another one. Okay, now we're going to find our menu and I'm going to do the dough menu because I want to try and braid this later. So I have menu buttons here. Oh, let me see if I can get this. Here we are. And it says the dough is number nine. And it should take an hour and 30 minutes. There we go. Off and running. So I'll see you back in a few minutes and we'll do the next project. Okay, project number two. Now this is about as simple as it gets. This is a piece of puff pastry that I've defrosted. I'm going to cut it into nine squares. So we have this already. Okay. Now I'm going to cut the other way as even as I can and make nine squares. Next thing I'm going to use is Nutella. And I'm just going to put a teaspoon of Nutella in each square. Now it calls for orange zest. I don't have any, so I'm not going to worry about it. I am preheating my oven to 400. And it says to use an ungreased sheet. I have parchment paper on it just for cleanup purposes. Whoop, that's a little too much. I have one egg that I have beaten. Let me put the top on here. Okay. 
and I'm going to just do the edges of this just to help it stick together. Get over there. This is a big brush. Let's see if I can use something else. These are called Nutella Hand Pies. They're just little turnovers. A little too much in that one. Hold on. Let me just get these off the counter. This is a quick little dessert, and what's better than puff pastry? See if I can get that other one on there. It's a small pan. I'll rearrange those in just a second.
There we go. We'll go in the oven for uh, wait a second. <laughs> Seventeen to twenty minutes. We'll see what they look like when they come out. back when they're ready. Well here they are right out of the oven and what? they puffed up nicely um, but I'm going to have to wait for them to cool very well before I can glaze them and I'm just going to make a glaze with some confectionery sugar and a little bit of water or you could use orange juice if you have an orange but I will show you what they look like when they're all glazed and ready to go. Okay, here's the bread dough. I'm going to sprinkle a little flour here. And you can see it has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is attempt to braid this. Let me just get the wood board. I think it might braid a little easier there. Hold on a second. Okay. Pinch these ends together, put them underneath a little bit. Not bad. It actually looks like a braid. Okay, I'm going to put a towel over this, and we're going to let it rise for about an hour. I'll show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven at 350. Back in a bit. Okay.
cut my um, frosting a little too loose. I could just add some sugar to it, but it'll work. There you go. Nutella hand pies. So I will see you in a little bit when the bread is ready to go in the oven. Okay, here it is, ready to go in the oven. As soon as that oven gets up to temperature, and we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Well, unfortunately, you didn't see what it looks like when it came out of the oven because that's when everybody arrived at the house. But it did come out looking nice and golden brown and it was delicious and we had it with our dinner, which last night was venison steaks. Uh, my son had been hunting. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll be back in a couple of days to do the final Valentine's project. And I've got to hurry up and do it because it'll be Valentine's Day before I get it done. So I will see you again shortly. I um, hope that the team that you wanted to win won yesterday, both games. <laughs> and we'll see what's going on the next time we get together. Until then, everybody play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.